Alrighty guys, how's it going? So it is time now that we are in season one to start looking at the phenomenal blueprints that we're going to be getting here in season one if you went and copped yourself the old battle pass and the very first one you get is an epic blueprint for the QBZ-83 if I'm recalling that correctly and it's called the good old cross check and I gotta say to be a tier 5 blueprint and considering you know just kind of how you know stale uh you know like the standard camos and stuff are this right here is a pretty dope blueprint in my opinion like i said for it to be just tier five in the season and i found these blueprints especially this one to be extremely helpful in helping me expedite my camo grind process but anyways before we i'll talk about that more in a second but with this you get the 40 round speed mag cqb pad the 15.5 inch reinforced heavy barrel the infiltrator grip and the agency suppressor so that is some god dang good attachments for this weapon let me tell you so like looking at the class setup it gets, that's five attachments that means you can run perk greed so i got my usual perk greed setup so i still got the rpg secondary just kind of scaling it along but what i've been doing and the reason why class setup like the class setups are dropping a little bit slower than day by day like i had planned is while we got double weapon xp i'm going through and using all the weapons just go ahead and get them to max level and in the process i'm getting well i'm getting i'm averaging about 60 to 70 percent camo completion on each weapon while doing that and it's two times faster than what what it is standard you know whenever you're rocking and rolling uh whenever there's no double weapon xp or if you've run out of tokens that you've gained from the battle pass like double xp tokens for your weapon or for your level so i'm going to continue that process with the lmgs and the sniper rifles probably before i get my next gun gold over at least just through today so that's why the next class setup video might not be for another day or two not to mention i still got to cop the mac 10 get it gold and the graza just like i said they're not a priority because they're not part of the mastery camo completion protocol so with that there said and done we're going to take and we're going to hop into a match of, I reckon we'll just hop into Nuketown and rock and roll with this bad boy so you guys can see how this blueprint goes. And here we go. It looks like we're going to get to spend a nice little bit of time with this good looking piece of weaponry because we got domination on Nuketown. So I'll take and drag her out just a little bit. Let's take and inspect and see what we got going. So where, where, where it's Nuketown nighttime, I mean, we get, we get to take and just enjoy all these phenomenal Christmas lights and decorations while we drop some bodies. Okay, you know what? I probably should have stayed. Okay, I still got credit for it. So that's good. Uh, but, the, you know, this is more of like a, it's like a cream white color with those red accents. And I, like I said, I just got to say, I really dig it. The only thing I wish is that it did have a different uh, grip on here so that, you know, you still have the ability to go prone while you're, uh, you know, like while you're ADS and all that good old garbage. Because just that thing your player does to drop his hand to the ground, you know, it's like I'm sure he spent, you know, probably five, six years military training. You think he'd be able to take and stand up with the leg muscles that he's got. But that's just not the case. But this AR is very accurate. It's got good recoil control and fair damage for those other factors that I just mentioned to be taken into consideration for what we got going. And with these attachments too, you know, like solid ADS time. That right there, I mean, compared to these subs and stuff on good old Cold War that, you know, just snap on people. Uh, and, you know, we're talking, you know, a, a very, you know, close range map here considering it's Nuketown. So, you know, you're getting those engagements with subs and it comes down to ADS time. Your odds of uh, success are not going to be the best, but just like that right there, core long shot, super easy to slam them with iron sights. And, you know, if you want to rock this blueprint like I did when I was grinding the gun and throw on Gunfighter and go ahead and, you know, just finish quipping it out, um, it just makes it, having access to these attachments early on in the weapon's lifespan while you're working on it, just makes it so much easier to unlock everything else. So just like, you know, you throw a red dot on this thing, and I mean, it, it basically doesn't move. Like, it actually, that genuinely does help it, even though, you know, this is the first Call of Duty where I'm finding myself throwing optics on everything because of gunfighter. So I'm using optics a lot more like the reflexes and, and so on and so forth. So with that in mind, I'm normal. I'm used to iron sights. I mean, I really dig using the, uh, just the five attachment setups and you really only need the five attachments. It's just having the, uh, the gunfighter class setups just really give you a big advantage in public matches, um, for like pub stomping just cause certain attachments especially some of the barrels and stuff give you a better effective damage range and you can maintain your accuracy level so it it's just a way to really increase your odds of winning most of your gun fights against just 
you know, you, you random enemy players that are just kids and flipping Zimbabwe or Vietnam or wherever they're chilling at. You know, New York City, all three of those places sound about, you know, similar to me. So we got people on C, can't have none of that garbage. Having a 40-round mag on this, you know, it's not uh, low ammo capacity by any means, but I would definitely prefer higher ammo capacity because we're needing core. You know, you want to get those multi-kills as, as much as possible so you can get that play of the game. Where's those bullets coming from? Jesus Christ, mate. Okay, here we go. I'm going to cop this little zone right there. My teammate's going in for Betty Jen, just climbing that leaderboard faster than I can do anything because you, you, your best bet with the ARs on a map like Nuketown is try. You know, you got to play to your gun strengths. And with these attachments, we need to stick to the mid to long range engagements just so we don't risk a chance as much of running in to submachine guns and stuff. And with this game in particular and the kids on this side, they ain't really been sniping. So that's not like something we've had to be extremely cautionary about oh let's try to avoid that right there he's got a shotgun just chilling the drop shot little dude thing right there works fine for you never mind there's another shotgun god dang it just sh shove the buck shot down my throat baby i love to gargle some lead balls let me tell you taking hit the good old counter uav i gotta i gotta trim my beard today like my beard's getting to the point to where it's like my mustache is like trying to get in my mouth and i really i feel violated by my own hair so that right there is something that's got to be done later on today but yeah, so the class setups, like once I, like I'll be getting a lot of the guns, gold and or diamond around the same time. So class setups will be dropping, you know, at least one or three, maybe even two a day uh, because of the way that I'm trying to level up my weapons right now. So keep that in mind that I'm going to just kind of sprinkle in the uh, the blueprints and stuff as we go. Because I'm not going to, I'm not going to cover some of the, um, some of like the, uh, what is it, common or like the common blue, the ones that don't have like hardly no attachments unless it just looks really good. Uh, I'm mainly going to focus on like the epics, the ones that have, you know, five attachments or, or like I said, that just look really nice and schmexy. So, you know, if there's anyone in particular that is like in the common category that, you, why are you spawning there, bro? I just got here. Nobody was spawning. Uh, so if you really want me to cover one of those just for whatever reason, then uh, let me know. It's just those are kind of, I don't know, they're just very underwhelming to me to use and to, uh, god dang it, bro. These guys are jumping around like spider. Is everybody using a shotgun now? I mean, what is a man supposed to do when you got a 12-gauge stuck right in your left ear hole, bro? Okay, we got a guy chilling upstairs, too. I guarantee he's got a god dang shotgun. How much you want to bet? Where'd he go? Bro, these spider monkeys jumping two and a half feet every three inches is getting old real quick. I guarantee he's ADS right here. Well, there's halftime anyway. So, second on the lead board, 15 and 7. We got a nice little match of running. No packet loss hitting us. So, as long as that remains, you know, what, what, what we got dropping for us, we should be good to go as far as game, uh, you know, game success rate goes. Anyway, we're winning too. Ain't we? Oh, yeah, 158. We taking this bad boy home in a body bag, let me tell you. And I'm glad we get, I'm glad we got nominations so we can spend some time with this gun. I thought I like, whoo, I thought my game crashed for a minute. Gonna have to say, my game crashed for the first time after the update earlier this morning, uh, but I think it was because of an application I had run on my computer, so I've, I've yet to determine that. It's like, I'm, I'm really kind of keeping a, a mental catalog of crashes because, like I said, I hadn't had, I had a bunch whenever the game first dropped. That's to be understood. I, I get that. But uh, if I'm going to do the, the Ram 115 run on Die Machine, I got to have like a consistent at least a week of no crashes before you know i invest that much time and effort into doing that just to have my game you know just have a heart attack on me so we gotta we, we gotta play that one you know close to the chest and make sure we we do everything we can to increase our odds of success get out of here mate with that oh he destroyed my flipping there we go teammate that's teamwork right there baby get the shot it better not be a shot okay dual like dual mac no okay the new the new ar got me that new ar seems dope uh as you can tell when i showed the stats i honestly haven't used it yet but uh, I will. After I get, like, if I end up getting all the stuff that I need to get situated uh, double XP wise, like weapons, like maxed out and stuff, then I'll obviously go ahead and start finishing those just to have them leveled up. So by the time I get to working on them, we, I'll actually have, you know, some uh, like attachments and everything. We'll be able to progress through the camos and stuff too for them and, and get the class setups for them. Because I know that it's like anytime DLC weapons drop, they have a tendency to be typically slightly overpowered in the beginning that's why people want to hurry and get to them and get class setups and stuff and then you know they end up getting nerfed and it gets kind of you know a lot of things get lost in translation as time goes on there but with that being said uh they're still they still seem like flipping dope guns to use and i, I hate that the uh the, the you know level progression and camo grind is taking the amount of time that it's taken how did i not get a single bullet on none of them man 
God, the time. And there's... What are you doing? Bro, that guy is chilling by the mini... Oh, I, I consider that a mini fridge, honestly. It's not... That's meant to be a full-size fridge, but... Uh, that guy's just chilling by the fridge, sipping a cold one with a shotgun, just pointed right at the doorway with a god dang light. The timing now. I can't get a bullet in a man to save my life, bro. It's taken. Okay, where are the... We, we, I guarantee to have a guy on the stairs over here. I can't see Jack, but I can't see nothing. Thank you for eliminating that man. Getting stung or... Well, I got tag mask, though, don't I? I'm about to say, well, I don't know why. Something hit me right there and kind of ruffled my guy's vision. So I'm going to write that one off as, as not counting in my, in my book. Through the wall, baby. Yes, give it to me. Kill enemies taking cover. That, that killing enemies taking cover thing is a little finicky in my opinion because I've killed a lot of people behind walls with different weapons and I look at my, like I, I look before the game to see how many I've got in certain categories and it never seems to line up quite right, you know? And it's like, I, I don't think I'm being too picky about it. Where you at, bro? Where you at? Oh, okay, let's back it up a little bit. Throw a little bouncing Betty right here in case somebody wants to get froggy and push around that doorway right there. Oh my god, can we get behind him right here? And the timing. There we go. I was going to get behind a man, then a man got behind me, bent me over, showed me who daddy really is. So we got a... Oh, we got player cards better this this next go round, but like pushing into the to the house on Nuketown. If you play the spawns right, just because I know some people that watch this, this could very well be their first Call of Duty. So there is just some uh, there's some really nice plays you can make on people pushing out of their their Nuketown spawns into the building, especially in objective game modes like Domination and Hardpoint. And people just don't seem to understand. You know, you sometimes you gotta look left and right before you cross the road because they just get lit up. And then you know they like, oh my God, how'd you? It's, it's different. Like if you spawn behind them, because I hate, I don't like it when people spawn behind me, and I feel kind of, I feel kind of dirty on the inside whenever I spawn behind other people. What we? I, okay, I thought they had a gunship or something. I was about to say, no way. We've been lighting these kids up every two and a half seconds. But then again, with this one, it don't matter. It's just flipping score streaks that, that count up towards you know infinity. So. It's anybody's game. You can rock and roll any score streak if you go all popping, popping kills left and right. I'd, pr I'd prefer to have a different setup with this weapon, and like that's what I normally use, but it's a different setup compared to this. And you'll get to see those class setups once I finish getting this gun gold, which really this gun right here is like 80, I'd probably say 80, 80 to 85% uh, camo completion. So there's only a couple... God dang it, bro. The timing. There we go. He had a sub, too, didn't he? What, what, what guns do you have, sir? No, he had a gr it's the same guy with that Groza, bro. He's just... He's rocking that thing till the end of the game. And there is a trip mine. Taking my face off. You gotta love it. Ball bearings right through you looking balls. <sighs> but you know what? It is what it is. We about to take and pull out a nice W in the Nuketown domination match. We got to play with our cross check. We'll look at... I'd like to be able to stand right here in the light, you know, so you can get it. There we go. Look at that. North Star looking at it, too. Boom, there we go. There you go. If that ain't sexy, yeah, pull that flipping bolt back, baby. Show them, show, show them what it's got. Lighten it up, Victor. I think we got the final kill. To, I mean, like, just we got the final kill right there. I don't know if we got to play the game. But uh, that is, I mean, that is what it is, bro. Is this guy rocking? Is that the, okay, that's the Mac 10. Yes, okay. So, anyways, it is what it is. But uh, that is the first dope blueprint that you'll get in Black Ops Cold War Season 1. So be sure to try it out when you get it. If anything, save your ARs if you haven't got them worked on camos yet. And uh, take advantage of the nice AR blueprints that you get with this battle pass. And all the other blueprints too. It's just expedites the process, like I said. So be sure to let me guys know. Let Be sure. Be sure yeah, anyway. Be sure to let me know if you guys... Uh, well, I enjoy seeing the blueprint videos for Cold War, just like I've done on Modern Warfare. Uh, and I'll keep doing them for the appropriate ones. So, yeah, class setups, blueprints, some fun gameplays, all that good old stuff is, is what's going to be going down. So, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't already, share your friends. Until the next one, adios.